All right, so we're back. Uh, figured I might as well get this out of the way tonight, uh, just so that we don't have to think about it uh, later on, and I can start a fresh level next time. Uh, so like I said earlier, I'm going to get my Windlasher out of harm's way. Exactly where out of harm's way is actually going to be probably depends on how well I do at killing enemies, so we'll see how this War Mage goes. In a perfect world, he's going to get three hits. Yeah, okay, so he got three hits, but he got slowed. So we're going to need to get the Windlasher completely out of the range of this here Legionary and this here Propungator. So the best bet is sort of down here, which is, which is pretty useless because it's actually nowhere near any villagers. Um, we could go... What kind of range do we have on us? Can we get all the way to some kind of safe place over here? No, we cannot. Okay, probably could have did that better. But anyway, we'll just drop back into the forest there and be done with it. Hopefully that War Mage doesn't get killed by the Legionary. And uh, we'll get a definite kill next time. Uh, so, <laughs> that guy's left with nothing to do. Might as well just blast away. Use those wonderful magical attacks of ours to some, some, good, uh, some good and get some experience into our Rain Dancers. That's pretty much... Uh, the thing you just say every time, get some experience into your rain dancers. Um, becomes a problem if you're playing a faction that doesn't have rain dancers, but the same general principle applies. And early in a campaign, you want to get experience into the units that it's going to be most useful for. And for the seed, the most useful units are rain dancers. There's just, there's really just no escaping that. Um, if you're playing most factions, if you're playing a campaign, you're looking to get your experience into your mages, because your mages are, in in all likelihood, the units that have the most to gain. Um, they probably get... Um, they probably have a number of levels and they probably require a lot of experience to get there. Um, you'll generally find your frontline fighters pick up a lot of experience just by attacking and being attacked, but you're actually going to have to feed your mages. Um, it's, it's, it's a general rule. I mean, not every faction has mages, but in the factions that do, um, particularly in the factions where your mages are going to become good healers and that's just something that you're going to want if you're going to want to keep your rest of your units alive. Oh, that, oh, here we are thinking that war mage was going to do well. He goes gets himself hit a few times. It's going to be, uh, who knows, you, you can't predict what the Wesnoth AI is going to do. Um, you'd think just because it was a computer program it would be reasonably simple, but I, it's beyond me. Um, the people that write these AIs are, are pretty damn clever, that's all I can really say. So this green guy, he knows he's going to die, but he's going to go down fighting, building more legionaries and worrying me about the state of my war mage. So, ha, he's going to run. Hopefully we left someone in the range of that guy. Um, if we didn't, uh, we're going to feel a little bit dumb. So, yep. I'm used to feeling a little bit dumb, though. It's pretty much how it goes through my life, so we'll manage. <laughs> good shooting by those archers. Thankfully we don't care about those green units, so it's all good. Um... You can see here, this level 2 tracker, he's got poison on his melee attacks. He doesn't have poison on his ranged attacks, though, so... The enemy units don't really want to fight him melee. Um, but since they're archers, they don't have a choice. They're, they're never going to fight melee, because they don't know how. Uh, they're not like the legionaries and able to just hit people with their, with their shields. Um, which is a wonderful attack. I, I really like the flavour of this. really like the flavour of this era. It just, it, it speaks to me. Um, which is which is why I ended up writing it in the first place. I mean, it's it's why I took over maintaining it when I realised that no one was maintaining it and future generations of Wesnoth players weren't going to get a chance. So you can see, this guy dies. This guy's sad that he's dead. He's dead. And this guy's all like, dude, you wouldn't care for me. Um, so, you know, not a whole lot of sympathy there for the... Uh, for the uh, auxilla, and we're going to use that to our advantage because we're going to run in here and we're going to go after this guy. And when we do, he's going to be all like, "Dude, can't." I mean, you know, I'm I'm basically being a slave for the Lavinians here. Let me be a slave for you. And we're like, we can do in slavery, dude. Look at all those red units. And purple guys aren't happy about it. But frankly, the purple guys are going to be dead soon, so we don't really care. Um. So yeah, we get a bunch of units. Unfortunately, they're um. You know, changing allegiances like that uses up all their power for this turn, so uh, the purple guys will probably get a couple of easy kills. That's alright. We don't, we don't really care. Oh, come. 
Come on, Mr. Rain Dancer, that's better. Um, so what we don't want to happen here is for Athos to be killed. So we sort of want to try and shield him a little bit. The chances for that one legendary killing him is probably not very good, though, so he'll be okay. Uh, once again, we're going to try and get experience into our rain dancers um, without putting them in compromising positions, but I suspect in this situation I'm going to do enough damage to that archer that my allies are going to go flying past it and um, provide me a sort of meat shield made up of allied units, um, which will be handy. So normally I'd try and take these, these mage units straight back in and try and attack that purple commander. But unfortunately, this one's so injured that he's useless. This one's this one's getting that way as well. So we're just going to drop him back and hope that this rain dancer can take those three green days around him. Um, not completely filled with confidence on that count. He might get lucky, but he's not in good terrain. So that's the price you pay. Um, you got to get those leader kills, and if it means losing a level two unit, well, you lose level two unit. Yeah, you can see what I mean about those fighters. They're going to go in for those easy kills, provide me a bit of a meat shield against most of those enemies. But I do have a couple of rain dancers there that are just in harm's way. So we'll see how that goes. See if maybe that war mage is going to provide a better target. Frankly, I'd rather have my rain dancers than, than blue war mages, um, even though if those rain dancers, even if that war mage is going to become mine. Uh, ouch. Yeah, he's dead. I mean... That one's going to live, the other one's going to be dead, and yuck. Well, hey, it happens. So, I've traded a Rain Dancer for... I've traded a Rain Dancer for a bunch of auxiliary units that I don't really care about. Hard to know... Hard to know whether that was a good choice. I mean, it probably wasn't, especially since I've also effectively traded, traded this Rain Dancer just because I've taken him out of this fight. Um, and this one's pretty useless too. So that leaves this War Mage up to an awful lot if he's going to try and take out a Centurion by himself. Realistically, he's level 2, he's level 3. Um, it's the middle of the day. <sighs> Don't like his chances. Anyway, let's put experience into our Rain Dancers. Um, we're going to need all the leveled units that we can possibly get later on. Um, there is a bit of a feeder level in a moment, um, which will give us a little bit more experience for some rain dancers. But you know, in a, in a, in a perfect world, I'd like to be I'd like to be sort of approaching level three with all those units before I even get to that level because it's just not very long. Yeah. So what I don't want to do here is get get Athos killed. You can see this guy can only do 20 damage though. I've got 25 health, so I'm fine. I'm going to run in there. Try and get some experience into Athos as well, because we're going to need him. Um, we're going to need him to be able to fight. Um, next level. He doesn't really need to fight this level, which is just as well, because he's practically dead. Just going to kill off as many enemy units as we can and close in for the kill. And we can use as many auxiliar as we want to do that because realistically they we're not gonna be we're not gonna be uh, recalling any of those guys. They cost eleven gold to recruit. So for the cost of recalling one you can build two. Not gonna happen no matter how much experience they have. Uh, maybe if they're like a couple of points off I might consider it. Um I don't know if I've ever explained, although I kind of figure it's sort of a little bit self-evident, but these bars on the right-hand side, left-hand side are health bars, bars on the right-hand side are experience bars. So you can see this guy, every time he gets in a fight, he's getting a tiny little bit of experience, but it's not going to be enough. Um, that war mage is going to be... You know, it's getting into night time. That war mage is probably going to be killed. It's going to be close, though. Unfortunately, because he had to take this one fight in the daytime... He's probably doomed. We're going to try and save him, because having having another level 2 unit, especially one like him, who's loyal, um, is a thing we want to do. Hey, Wanderer lived. Um, he's going to get killed, because this legendary here has um, leadership, so he makes... he makes The Centurion here has leadership. It makes the legendaries around him even better, because, you know, what they needed was a buff. Still, I... In this situation, I can use... I can just start dealing damage. Not much. But I can trap that Centurion there. Well, I can't trap that Centurion there because this is a level 0 unit and has no zone of control. Don't don't forget the basics. But I can... 
block him out of his keep. So he's not getting any more guys. Because uh, he can't he can't get into the keep now. My war mage is in the way. So as long as I get enough guys there, deal enough damage to him in the next few turns, uh, we're good. We've won. And it doesn't matter if I lose these auxilla, because they're poop. Uh, I don't want to lose this tracker, because he's pretty good. I don't want to lose Athos. Don't want to lose Vaniera. I don't really want to lose this rain dancer though. So I'm sort of out of firepower, which is upsetting. I'm upset. I know I don't sound very upset when I say I'm upset, but I am. I'm just I'm just a mild mannered man, you know. Um, normally, normally I'd be looking to go here and kill this guy. Uh, kind of tempted to go here and put damage into this guy, and then attempt to save this war mage. That's what I'm going to do, and hopefully doing my friend a good favor there, I'm not going to get killed for it. Probably am, but uh, you never really know. And yeah, this range adds it. This, this guy down here is probably good enough to bring back in the fight now. We'll just drop him up there. I don't know. We don't have enough, we don't have enough health points here. We just don't have enough points to kill, kill a Centurion, even in the night time. We'll get Vanier up there, see if we can pull a backstab off, a lucky backstab, but we're probably just going to get him killed. And uh, uh, then I'll show you the useful save load function that makes Wesnoth the game for me. <laughs> Our end turn button has died again. It's really never met. There's been buggy versions of Wesnoth before, but this this 11.5. Um, if you're going to download Wesnoth, don't download Wesnoth 1.11.5. Um, download one of the 1.10s. Um, or download 111, I think they're up to 111.15 now. Um, I hear it's pretty good. It's pretty much, um, pretty much ready for, for proper release as, as, a, as, as 112. That War Mage not looking, it, that, this green guy's definitely going to kill him, surely. Ha, no, because he went in with his shield attack, um, because he could get a one-hit kill with it, and he missed. Yeah, still the archer killed him. That's uh, look, that's that's longer than I've seen that mage survive for a long time. Um, you don't normally see him. You don't normally manage to get them to this sort of situation where they're living at the end of this level. So we'll take it. Um, it would have been really nice to keep him, but as it is, we're overall we're we're not in a horrible situation. We've got this. Advanced Rain Dancer unit here. We've got this Advanced Rain Dancer unit here. We've got this Advanced Rain Dancer unit here. So we've got three. Um, we've got Vaniera. He's still level two. Um, we're going to take this opportunity now, see if we can kill off the enemy leader, because there's really nothing else we can do in this level. We're just going to be wasting time trying to collect units. And we're going to have to get lucky in order to kill this Centurion here. But when you've got a 14 4 attack, you might as well try. You know, you never know when you. And you're going to get lucky, or at least not unlucky in this situation. And this Rain Dancer can reach, so that's the end of that chapter, surely. Yes, it is. So um, that's how you play just in time. Uh, you can see here I'm now going to get um, get some blue units on my, t on my side, and they're going to decide to... Um, Oh, oh, yes, oh, we got another upgrade. We'll take another wind rusher. Um, so yeah, we got we got the blue units onto our side. So we managed to inherit this guy. Um, also, a couple of fighters that we're never going to see again. Um, really, it's just failing um, because the last of his useful guys died one turn too early. You can see we did this with five five turns to spare. So heaps of time going into the next camp next level, um, which I will play in the next video. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you're still interested in uh, this run-through of Tale of Vaniera, even if you're not. Um, I'm still having fun making these videos, so I'm going to make one more tonight.